So I just posted that I'm going to be making little applications using Godot and I've already got a few questions. One of which was making dialog boxes and also uh, combo boxes as they said or drop down menus. So let's go ahead and see what options we have in Godot and how easy they are to use. Uh, in this video we're going to again just go over the basics. I'm not going to make it look real pretty. I'm just going to go over the functionality and uh, go from there. So let's check it out. Okay, we're starting with a new project here. We're going for more of an application, so we're probably gonna use the user interface because we're making a user interface. Go ahead and click on that, and we're going to add a few things to this. We're gonna add in, as we're looking for a dialog window, also known as a pop-up in this case, we're gonna say add child node to our control node here, and I am gonna say pop-up. And we have different options here. You have your pop-up and then you have sub options from that as few as down here. You have accepting confirmation dialogues, file dialogues if you want the user to be able to select files from your file system. We're gonna go with a blank window, so just a dialogue window. I'm gonna say create. Uh, so that created it, but by default, it's going to be invisible. I'm gonna click this to make it visible, but it'll still be invisible when we start up our application unless we tell it to appear, which we're going to do with a button. So real quick, I'm going to enlarge this a little bit and with it selected, I'm going to say in the layout here, I'm just gonna say center. So now it should be centered. And I'm gonna hit Control S to save my project. I'll just call it the scene control. And if I hit F5, it's gonna ask why I want to be the default scene and we'll select this scene we just created. And as you can see, I have a blank window because it's hidden by default. That's what uh, this little icon here is probably telling us. Warning, it'll be, you have to call pop up. Um, I guess you can call pop up. I usually uh, use visibility. I think it does the same thing. Uh, so with the select though, we can give it a title. This is gonna be a menu where you select someone's name. Okay, so I'm gonna say, pick a name. Now to make this dialog visible, we're gonna want a button. So to our control node, I am going to add a child node. I'm gonna type in button and I'm gonna add a button. I'm gonna choose my layout here. I'm gonna say center uh, on bottom wide. So bottom wide, I'm gonna make it a little bit thicker here. And this is gonna be uh, very big, but we're gonna say choose name. So now we have that and we'll link that to a function in a moment. But let's, let's add a few more things here. Again, to our control node, I'm going to add a label. So what we're gonna do is when our pop-up window appears, we're gonna have a drop down menu to pick names from. And then when we click an okay button in our dialog box, it's gonna change this label. I'm gonna tell the, the label to be top wide and that's good for now on that. Now, I am going to go to our dialog here. I'm gonna say add a child to that. I am going to add in a option button. So the option button is basically uh, what we're talking about in this tutorial. I'm going to center that uh, horizontal wide, like so. And what it's going to do is it's going to give us a drop down of a list of names that we can pick from. Then we want a button that we can click okay that will change the label to say what name you picked. So I'm going to add another button but into our dialog box, so make sure it's in your dialog box. And I'm gonna say uh, bottom wide for that. So bottom wide, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger and I'm just gonna label that. Okay, so we have all our elements now. Let's work on the code. I'm going to say here, I'm going to attach a script. I'll just control, call it control GD. It's gonna be a Godot script. I always forget there's an option to not have all these comments in here and I should click that, but I always forget. Okay, I'm gonna just copy and paste to save some time. So our buttons here, all our, our items here can be renamed. So for example, I can rename our option button because you might have more than one to something such as um, name box is what I'm going to go with for my example. I'm gonna go back to my code here and I am going to copy and paste some code to save some time. Basically all these were saying on ray because we're gonna be grabbing these objects, these elements here, and they have to be up here before uh, that you can grab them. So that's what we're saying on ready. Then we're gonna create a variable and give each one a name. We're gonna say get the node by that name. So for our name box, we're looking at the one that's inside our window dialog. We're gonna get the name box. For our pop-up window, that's gonna be our window dialog. And again, you can rename them over here, but uh, to make things clearer, but just for time's sake, we're gonna leave them all at the default names besides name box that we renamed. And then we have a choose button, uh, we have an okay button, and we have our label. Now, 
what we can do at this point is we can, again, if we start this up, we're not gonna see, we'll, we'll see our button down here, our label has nothing, and our button does nothing. Let's make our button, uh, make our pop-up visible. So I'm gonna choose my button here. Make sure you're choosing the correct button. Again, that's why rename them over here might be a good idea. Uh, if you have a larger project, you can do button down, button up, button press. I'm gonna do button up, that's what I normally do. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, on choose button up, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do that, here's the function. So what are we gonna do? We're going to take our pop-up that we created up here. And I believe there's a pop-up option. I just do visible true. So now if I run this and I click this button, the dialog pops up. Now there's nothing inside our menu here and our okay button does nothing. So let me go ahead and just close out of that. What I'm gonna do is I am going to, instead of adding one by one items, because you might have a lot of items, I'm gonna create a variable. So on ready, I'm gonna say names. I'm gonna give it three names here. And then we're gonna loop through the names. So I'm gonna create a for loop. So again, what this is doing is we're creating an array of names right now with three names. We're gonna say, okay, for each name, so we're gonna go through names, we're gonna go for each name. We're gonna find our name box which is our option button, which we've renamed name box up here. We're gonna add an item and we're gonna add the name. So now if I run this, when that's visible, you can see there's three names. Okay, and our okay button still does nothing. Let's make our okay button do something. We're going to say our button here, we're gonna say uh, on button up. We're going to, let's rename this to, so we know what button it is to Okay, connect. So what is this function gonna do? Well, if we have our dialog up already, it's visible, we're gonna make it invisible. So we're gonna say false. So if I run this now, we can click choose name, we can choose a name, and then we click okay, and that dialog goes away. But now we want to do something with the name that is selected. And uh, although there's probably a few different ways to do this, what I'm going to do is just say, okay. Find our label, which is defined up here as the label that we have on our main window. We're gonna say it's text equals, and we're gonna say you have selected, and then we're gonna to add to that from the name box, we're gonna get the item text, but which item? We're gonna get the item that is selected from the name box. I'm gonna click F5 to run that. I'm gonna click choose name. I'm gonna choose a name. When I click okay, it now has said you have selected John. If I go back in here, I can select a different name and click OK and it has changed to you have selected Chris. And of course we can also pick Jake. Don't wanna leave him out. Perfect. Uh, that's pretty much the end of this tutorial. Uh, obviously we can create an exit button of some sort on this. Um, the only other thing I might do is come in here and like with our label, I might tell it to center the label. So now when we run this and we choose a name, it's going to center it there. We can center it on the window if we want. We can add other fonts to it in the size. We've done all that in previous videos. Uh, the only other thing is like, you might not like the look of this default theme, right? It's kind of standard. Most application programming interfaces that give you um, buttons and drop down menus have a very basic standard looking options that usually are meant to be standard, but not very pretty. I am not much of a designer. That's why I say I'm a programmer, not an application designer, because to me, an application designer is someone who has more of an artistic view. We're not gonna go over in this video, but for all our buttons and dialogues and windows, you can add themes. So we can say new theme in here and you can add this. And then once you create a theme, you can save it as, um, as a resource and use it anywhere in this project or other projects. Um, we're not gonna go over that in this tutorial, but I just wanted to point out that that was an option. So again, check out the links in the description. Hopefully I'll remember to uh, put this example code into um, a, a project online that you can check and download. But that's the basic concept. And again, we did option box, but if we go back into here and we go uh, add a child, you can see that there's check boxes, check buttons, color picker, picture, uh, color picker buttons, um, menu buttons, we just did an option button, there's tool buttons, link buttons, and a whole bunch of stuff. And again, you can make them look however you want if you have that artistic um, feel, which we might go over themes in a future video. But I do thank you for watching. I do thank the uh, viewer who asked this question for uh, the idea to do the video on it. And I hope that you have a great day. So that's it. Uh, I know I said you have a great day, but 
I thank you for watching this video. Sorry if there's a little bit of noise in the background. My kids were doing something. I have to go check on that. Um, so I apologize if there was any no background noise in this video that you heard my kids yelling. Um, but other than that, I hope that you enjoyed the video. I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. And again, have a great day.